Good evening, everyone. It's Raven, and welcome back to another episode of Dungeon of the Endless. We are on floor five with a full complement of heroes, and I think I'm losing my voice. I think I came back to this a little too eager, a little too fast. So I'm going to try to take this one a bit more slowly as we move through. Let's go ahead and head left like we always do. We'll go ahead and drop our industry generator down first. And we'll leave Hakentra behind to start operating on that, just for the time being. We'll move forward with our other heroes. Looks like we have a nice T-junction here, which will probably turn into a major choke point. After we open up the next door, we'll drop down Hakentra into this room. But for now, let's go ahead and just kind of fill this room up with happy goodness. We'll drop a kip cannon because we're really high on science right now thanks to all of the stockpiling that we've been doing. Hopefully we'll be able to find a uh, we'll be able to find some research machines on this floor. We have health regen for minor modules on the floor which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and move Hakentra in here so she can start working on this module. And we'll continue exploring this direction I think feels good. Ooh, we have a four-way junction here and a research center. This is fantastic. So we can pick up all sorts of goodies. All of these are pretty good, actually. Um, but I want to prioritize our major modules. Just seems like the right thing to do. This room here is a dead end, and it's the exit. That's uh, a fantastic early find. We have another dead end here at the north. We haven't run into any monsters yet, which is really nice. Let's drop down a couple of prisoner prods here since we'll probably be messing with the power <clears throat> in this area. Alright, we got some more dust, which is excellent, and we have some bad guys. Let's go ahead and move Sarah out of this room. Just because she's so fragile, I don't want her in harm's way. She's pretty much here to run the crystal. That's about it. <clears throat> Alright. And it looks like our original research is done. We can pick up some more things. I'm not too excited about any of these since right now I want to prioritize uh, prisoner prisoner prods above pretty much everything else. Let's go ahead and reset these researches. Ooh, tear gas is great. But so is industry generator three. Let's go ahead and pick that up, and we'll continue exploring with Ken and Mizzy. And it looks like we have a dead end down here as well. And some more monsters, which is A-OK. -okay. Oh man. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you guys didn't already know this, I'm recently getting over cold. Which is part of the reason why my voice is extra scratchy. I really want to be able to drop down a science machine soon. But I'm a little worried about putting it in here. I guess that's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and drop it for now. Get that extra science boost. And we'll keep scouting with Ken and Mizzy. Oh, and of course, as soon as we do drop it, we find a better room in which to place it. <laughs> but, you know, them's the breaks, kid. Them's the breaks. Now, if we level up Mizzy to seven, she's going to pick up Hellfire, which basically makes her, her a solo room clearing machine. Now if you use it in, it does it basically does AoE damage to everybody in the room, but also to heroes, which makes it kind of, uh, you know, kind of difficult. <laughs> so she's, she can use it on her own while she's exploring, but not really for much else. Let's go ahead and uh, grab, oh this is, yeah let's get Science Creator too. We've still got... We're on floor five. We still have three more floors where we're going to be trying to be research heavy. And since we're running low and we have two science machines now, let's do this. Let's drop a science creator up here. And we're going to put Akensha over in this room so that we can try and get as much as we can out of these two floors. Uh, let's provide... Well, yeah, let's go ahead and put Ken over here. 
This is looking all right for now. And we have another dead end. Okay, <laughs> with another science machine. All right, and we have a bunch of spawns. Let's see how this works out. All right, Ken, not looking too good. Busy, need you in there. Hellfire, and the rest of it. All right, making quick work of those monsters. Excellent, looking very good. All right, so that wasn't as clean as I would have liked it. Let's go ahead. Nope, we need that room powered up. Let's go check the science machine. What are our options? Autodoc shards, Claymore Mine, and Hollow Hero. Don't really care for uh, any of those. Food Replicator 4 is very tempting. We're gonna leave that one alone for now. We're gonna power down this room, power this one up. We'll toss a uh, prisoner prod or two in here just to soften them up a little bit. And we're going to continue to use Mizzy to scout now in this other direction. We're going to see how long we can hold on to this um, without things getting too sketchy. Now we do have the exit, but we also have a prime setup to get a lot of research done. It is going to be the main goal here is getting a lot of that research done. So you can see with Mizzy's abilities both triggered, it does a lot of damage really quickly, really significantly. We're going to have to move Mizzy back in here. But he's looking okay. Alright. I honestly don't like Sarah in this room by herself. And we now have the problem of... Not having as many things powered up as I would like. Hmm, alright. Let's go ahead. We're gonna move Akensha out of this room after we open this next door. Let's go ahead and check our science machines. Looks like everything is researching, everything is good. Gonna use Sarah to hang out in this room and prevent any spawns. Let's just go ahead and power this up. Drop some prisoner prods. Sarah, I don't want you in harm's way because you are our very important crystal runner. Now, if we have the opportunity to swap Sarah out for somebody with the operate skill, I think we're going to do that. Um, we just have to be careful with her in the meantime so that we don't lose her unintentionally. All right, so Hakensha, at this point, I'm going to move you back here. And we do have some spawns, so let's see how this configuration works out. Mizzy, we can move you back in here to help Ken out. It would be really nice if we found a merchant that would give us some more defense. Uh, just because Ken is kind of on the weaker side. But I believe our research has been completed, so let's go ahead and see what else we can pick up that's going to help us out. Nothing interesting on this one. Let's drop some prisoner prods in this room. And nothing on this one either, so I'm going to go ahead and reset this. Smoking Gun 3 will definitely pick up. Let's go ahead and put a Smoking Gun module in here, just because that should help out a little bit with the, with the damages. And who do we have with repair? Can you repair a major module? Let's find out real quick. Yes, you can. Excellent. All right, so Sarah, let's put you back in safety. Mizzy, we're going to have you continuing to explore along the path here. Let's see, can we open this up? 20. Let's check it out. And we get a nice, healthy dose of food. And I'm gonna have, whoop, nope, can you stay right where you are? Sarah, come in here and help me stop the spawns. Alright, let's open the next door. We've got a dead end here up north with a dust machine. Do we have any spawns? Does not look like we do. We also don't have enough industry at the moment to spend on the spawns either. 
or to spend on this uh, possible dust bonus. So let's figure out how we want to do this. We could power down this room, <clears throat> power this one up, go ahead and drop some prisoner prods in here for cheap. Sarah, let's stick you over in this room. Uh, let's put you in that. Yeah, we'll put you over here. Basically trying to prevent us from getting overwhelmed all of a sudden by opening up the wrong doors um, and having enemies come in from too many different places at once too many different times. Do we have any spawns? Not this time around. Alright, Sarah, I'm going to need you back over here. <laughs> I know this is a lot of maneuvering, but basically what I'm trying to do is squeeze out as much research as we can on this floor um, without losing anybody. Okay, so smoking gun 3 upgrade just got unlocked. Sarah, let's move you out of here. And Mizzy, we're going to have you pop both your abilities. And the, the wave clearing ability on Mizzy is just fantastic. Okay, have we completed any more research? It looks like we have. Let's go ahead and see what else we can pick up. Stick along with the game plan. Prisoner Prod 3 is very welcome. Let's see what's available to us down here. Tesla Module 2 I'm not as excited about, but we should probably pick up since we're here. So we're going to try to open three more doors and then get the heck out of here. Alright, and we have three more doors and an item. Please be some defense. Third eye. So let's see. It gives us wit and attack power plus pilfer. So pilfer gives extra dust when opening a room. I'm going to go ahead and leave the survival kit on her. Let's see. How many other waves do we have? We have one, two, three. Alright, Sarah, let's move you out. And hmm, these are the hard, hard questions. We do have enough food where we can heal up our guys just fine. Let's go ahead and give this back to Mizzy. And let's see how this plays out. Move Mizzy back in here. Ken, I need you to pop your ability. Alright. So far, so good. Let's see if we can't do that again. Man, I really wish we could use some more dust. Actually, let's check and see how much of this costs. If it costs 20 production, we'll buy it because we could really use the extra dust right now. It costs 30, I should have known that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, we found another item. And we have some more spawns. Okay. We actually have one from over here as well. Let's see if uh, Sarah can hold these guys off. Can you do it, Sarah? Can you do it? Whoa, Ken! That was really close. I paused, like, basically as soon as I heard the sound. Alright, Ken, you're taking a lot of damage, man. Let's get you out of there. I really want to give Ken a level up, but we need all of this food to keep him alive, basically. All right, we did get dust enough from that to power up another room. So we can do this, and let's actually go check out this, uh, this last item here. T-shirt. Oh, finally. Finally we get some defense. Okay. Let's go ahead and give that to Ken, since he seems like he's been coming under the most fire recently. Kind of half tempted to power this room down and fill this one up with modules. Oh, and actually we have enough. Let's go risk it all 
<laughs> Let's risk it all on the possibility of getting some more dust. Activate. And we do. Okay, so this is going to make life slightly easier. Let's go ahead and spend our last three... <laughs> We're going to have to start emphasizing uh, industry right after this. Oh, and all right, we have another door. Oh, Jolari. I really like Jolari. She's basically like a stronger Sarah. Not as fast, clearly, but still really good. So, you know what, Sarah? It's been good. Yep. But Jolari is one of my favorites, especially after. Um... Well, no, Hakensha. No, stop moving. All right, we're going to put you in the industry room. Mizzy, let's recruit Jolari. All right, Jolari, it's nice to have you on the team. Jolari is really good for anything defense, basically. Um, she provides, at level 7, she has an ability that will give 100 defense to anybody standing in the room with her. Um, so she's really, really awesome. Uh, I really like having her on the team. Let's go ahead and move Ken down to here. Because, yeah, we're going to stay... We're going to stay risky and continue with trying to research more stuff. What do we have? Alright, so the same options. Let's pick up Tear Gas. Let's put Hakensha in here to help Ken out. And... Hmm... What should we light up over here? I guess we should do this. And we'll have Jolari hang out with... Uh, with Mizzy, and actually Jolari will end up being our uh, next scout. Alright, we got some more dust. And we got more spawns, so let's move back in here to help out these guys. We're gonna pop all their abilities. And yep, Ken is looking a lot more tanky. Still taking a lot of damage. But looking much better. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead and... Oh, this room's self-powered as well. That's quite nice. Quite nice, gotta say. Alright, can we research anything on this guy? Let's find out. Hmm, don't like any of these. Hmm. I'm not sure if Mechanical Pal is worth it in this scenario. <clears throat> but it feels kind of like a waste. Not to try to, <laughs> not to try to research anything else. Yeah, it's all right for now, I guess. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll check this out with Jolari. And we found a merchant. Interesting. Nothing uh, super useful for us, but we can sell this for a lot of, lot of industry if we wanted to. Actually, I feel like that might be a good pickup for Jolari since she's going to be opening up doors for us. Hmm. Decisions. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on her. Power this down so that Jolari can keep exploring. And, man, this is just like the endless cycle of more and more, more and more rooms as we go on with it. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can research anything else. Hmm. Land module, I'm not really sure how useful you are. Viral injector is kind of tempting. Let's go ahead and do viral injector. I feel like this is going to be the last door down here, so let's open it up. Yep, that's the last one. Alright. Let's go ahead and head back to where we actually have some defenses. The rest of our guys here should be able to hold out against the horde just fine. Pop all those abilities. Man, Ken, you just get beat on constantly. So much food. Alright, we're gonna have to start prioritizing food and uh, everything else now. Is that it? Did we clear it? Nope, not quite, but we're gonna move Mizzy over here because Jaleri is not going to be able to hold these guys off by her lonesome. 
just gonna kite around a little bit. And then Mizzy, I want you to pop your Hellfire. Take out this big group of nasties. All right. Whew. Floor five, almost done. All right, let's check out the speed on everybody. 30, 32, 37, 34. So it actually looks like right now, uh, Ken is our fastest fella, which is fine by me. We've opened up everything that we possibly can, squeezed out every resource from the floor, and now we are gonna make our way to the exit. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, Ken, pick it up and let's head on out. Whew, so that was floor five. I know this one was a little bit more slow going than the previous floors, but that's just because this is around the point of the game where you really got to start paying attention to what the heck you're doing or everything's going to come crashing down. And we did have a couple of close calls. Now, the next few floors are going to be all about stockpiling resources and starting to shift away our focus from science more towards getting our food and industry up high enough to support us throughout the rest of the exploration of the dungeon. So all of that being said thank you very much for watching remember that the stupid elevator doesn't even give us background exposition and i'll see you next time for more dungeon of the endless